welcome to Mindset. My name is Chantal Fitzgerald and your host. And as you know, on Mindset, we talk to industry leaders who are at the top of their field to learn about how did they get there? What were their challenges and struggles along the way? And what was their mindset to push through? And I have an incredible guest for you today. She is an entrepreneur. She started her own photography business. She's right here in the South Jersey area. Her name is Allison Gallagher. So welcome, Allison. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm so grateful that you would choose me to, to come here and talk about mindset and be an entrepreneur. And I'm super grateful to do what I do every day and maybe inspire others to live out their dreams. Yes, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Absolutely. So let's get into it a little bit. How did you um, become a photographer? What was it about photography that really literally caught your eye, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? So um, my, I, I took pictures when I was very young with my dad. We had an old Pentax, uh, we, you know, film, slides. Um, and so when we would, as I got older, we would go on vacation. My dad would show me, we would do things, he would teach me. And I, I did like, like it, you know, I never ever thought I could do it for a living. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just kind of struggled through my late teens and trying to figure out what I wanted to do for a living. And I was grooming dogs for my sister at the time. And my mom called me and said, you're going to go to art school for photography. And I said, yeah, mom, I'm just not sure about that. And this was like, I had gone to two different colleges at this point, mm -hmm. answering phones for my sister. And she, my mom had, you know, had gotten money from her father that had died, and she said, I'm going to use this money to send you to the Art, Art, Art Institute of Philadelphia. And mm. I said, okay. And so, um, you know, I fell in love with the journey. It was not easy. Art school is not easy. It's, you know, it's a lot of critiquing, a lot of stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, which was hard for me at that age, you know. Um, how old were you at that time? Oh, 20 maybe. Okay. Ish, yeah. 19. Yeah. Um, well, I graduated art school um, 2001 and um, I wasn't still wasn't sure if it was for me. A, it was art school was really hard for me. It was, you know, a lot of really hard critiquing and mm. wasn't sure if I could measure up and, you know, all those things, the vulnerability of not knowing. Mm. Um, but I did end up the, you know, the universe pushed me in that direction. In 2005, I started my business, and um, it's been an interesting, interesting journey. Um, you know, I've evolved. I'm 41 now, and I just... I've evolved in such a way as an artist and being a mom and um, having so many wonderful clients mm. that help teach me how I see them. Sometimes I'm in my zone and I do my work and then some of my clients will tell me what I do for them and it's awesome. What it do they awesome. say? Yeah. Oh, that, that they, f I make them feel beautiful, mm. that I get to document a, an emotional, intimate moment with them and their children that is so unique and finite and tangible. Mm -hmm. And, and it's a love, it's mm -hmm. a love documented. And mm -hmm. I've evolved into that mm. artist, mm. Um, which is why I'm so passionate about, you know, my, my why, you know, my why is I grew up with um, Salvatore Dali on mm. our walls. Oh, wow. Okay, my dad was a huge Salvatore Dali fan. And as much as he loved photographs and he loved photographing, we had no, we really had no portraits of our family on the walls. Um, and, and now I know, I believe for me, having my family on my walls is so important. And so I am a firm believer in artwork of your family on your walls. Mm. And that is what I do. Um, I am a, a, you know, I'm a custom framer. I customize the portraits for my clients and their needs. I walk, I walk them through, I hold their hand through the process to make sure that they have beautiful artwork to enhance their home and their life and that their children, if they have them, are growing up in a home with the, the love. Of, you know, my daughter loves having our portraits on our walls and seeing them. I have a six foot spread of us. I get portraits taken, you yeah. know, I hire professionals. 
and my daughter is giddy yeah. in that space, knowing it's reflecting how she, much she's loved yeah. and her worth. Yeah. You know, um, and, I, and I document and I freeze time that you'll never get back. So that artwork, it, the value goes up over time mm. of your family because mm -hmm. that three-year-old, that giddy smile, you know, the, the little teeth before they lose them, whatever it is, that is, it's, it's there forever and ever and ever when we're all changing every single day. Yes, you yes, know? that's so beautiful. That is my why, that yeah. is my why, and it's powerful. Yeah. It is powerful, and there's days where it's hard, and I think I just, I just can't do this today or whatever it is, you know, the pile of things I have to do. And my why sometimes is what gets me out of bed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that, it's that force, that driving force to, that I'm making a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making a difference in their lives, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, totally. And I love what you said of freezing time mm -hmm. because that's exactly what photos are is a capture of the mm -hmm. moment in that time. And also, you know, and I love how you customize these pictures and frames and post them, mm -hmm. you know, help your clients put them all over the walls mm -hmm. as a reminder of that time, yep. <laughs> that frozen time. I think that's so amazing. And also the love that's surrounding that family, um, mm -hmm. particularly of that moment that you took the pictures. Because you're right. I mean, you know, our lives are ever fleeting, right? Everything is always changing. Mm -hmm. But to capture that one moment um, is really beautiful. And, and I, I love the I love posing in a way that is it's posed, but there's a lot of candid that goes on. And so the snuggles and the, you know, or that look between a bride and groom mm -hmm. or um, those first days of their newborn baby, you know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, I can't believe that this is what I was chosen to do. Mm. You know, I just, there's days where I am in awe that I was chosen to do this for a living yeah. and that I you know, and I don't take it lightly, not for one second, you know, so each client, I'm so grateful that I get to really spend a lot of time with them, get to know them, customize their session for them and help them and walk them through as far as artwork. What do they need? What, what is best for them? Maybe it's an album, maybe it's, you know, a framed portrait or a canvas or, you know, I help them decorate their walls with art of their family. Yeah, you know? that's so beautiful. It is. That's so beautiful. It is. Is your family, like, are you the only artist in your family? Or it sounds like your dad was really into my dad art. Was a, my dad was, uh, is he, he, my dad was an engineer, but he also, he was kind of an artist, you know? He was, some, he was like an architect. He built our home. He built cars. He, you know, he did, he, he gardened. He, he was an artist for sure, um, but also had that side of his brain where he could sketch out. He was a mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So um, my grandmother was for sure an artist in everything she did. She saw everything as an art and design, mm. you know? So um, I think there is art through my family. And I, I, there's days where I don't know if I can consider myself an artist because I have to hire artists around me to help me mm -hmm. um, in, in certain aspects of my life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, as far as through the lens, you know, I just love to document love, yeah. you know, but my clients do tell me that, you know, when they come across my, my images, they know it's me Yeah, because it has a style, it has a brand, it has a feeling to it. And that just, that just comes out in who I am, mm -hmm. you know, that's yeah. any artist. It's like you're, that's who you are from your soul. Yes. You know, and I can't help but be that. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it's awesome to hear that because that's my brand. That, right. They see it and they know it's mine. Yeah. That's priceless. Totally. It's priceless. Totally. And I love that, like your energy, your love for what you do and also the, the, just everything around it is love, right? You're capturing love, mm -hmm. you're capturing that moment in time. It's your energy kind of feeding into that moment as well as the people you're taking the mm -hmm. picture of is, is really feeling that moment and you're able to just capture it so beautifully and then be able to spread that energy through the pictures on the walls of the families and their homes. That's so beautiful. It's an, it's, it's an, awesome, it's an awesome life. So tell us, you were talking a little bit about you know, being this entrepreneur and how you've been able to evolve into this amazing photographer that you are and able to capture love and, and decorate that in the homes of your clients. 
but how did you evolve to that? And what were some of the challenges that you faced before you could even get there? Okay. And was it hard to try to find these clients? So it's years of um, picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, keep going. It's resilience. It's um, vulnerability of making mistakes, of upsetting clients, of, you know, thinking you're doing the right thing, but it's not the right thing. And, mm -hmm. and kind of looking at yourself and saying, um, I can fix this. You know, anything is fixable. Um, finding clients is, I think, being just being me and being who I am genuinely and finding connections, mm -hmm. uh, making connections and keeping and making keeping my clients happy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it's um, and and who my client was in 2005 may not be who my client is now. As I evolve, so do my client base. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I wasn't photographing newborns before I became a mom. Now I love being with new moms. Mm. I love. Being, I love saying it's going to be, you're going to sleep again. Like yeah. you're going to be okay. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not, the walls are closing in around you now, but tomorrow will be better. You mm -hmm. know, I, I, I couldn't, I didn't have that connection before I became a mom, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I think I, and I find my clients just through talking to people, listening to people. I'm out and about in the towns. I love learning about people. So a conversation at, you know, at a baseball game or, you know, locally at the, at a boutique or at the coffee shop, I interact with people. How, yeah. what are, who, who are you? Tell me about yourself. You know, I like to, and I've learned this about me through my brand, but I like to, when people leave me, feel a little bit better about who they are. Mm -hmm. Kind of feel like, well, I can, I can do those things or I can live out that dream or so I love to talk to people and by talking and connecting to people on that level, on a human level, mm -hmm. I find clients. Yeah. I find yeah. clients, you I know, love that. and sometimes most of the time they end up being lifetime clients. Yeah. You yeah. know, just by getting out in the community and talking to people mm -hmm. and making that connection. Yeah. I love that. Well, we have to take a break real quick, but when we come back, we're going to talk to Allison a little bit more about her business, but also see some of the most amazing artwork and photography that she's done as well, right when we come back. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Together. Choosing Medicare coverage can be a very confusing and complicated process Help is just a phone call away, 856-226-4800. As a licensed insurance agent, I'll assist you in making an informed and confident decision on a Medicare plan that meets your needs, lifestyle, and budget. Call me today for a free, no obligation, Medicare benefits consultation, 856-226-4800. Boardwalks built for fun. Legendary rock and roll clubs. This is how we do it. Hip -hip -hop. Casinos by the ocean. Hip -hip -hop. Now that's New Jersey. 130 miles of beautiful beaches. Solid rock. And everything in between. <laughs> now that's New Jersey. Burlington County College. Is now Rowan College of Burlington County. Still the same great faculty. At a community college ranked top 50 in the nation. Basically, we earn more and pay less. RCBC students are accepted at Rowan University after graduation. And get a bachelor's degree for around $30,000. Online and Mount Laurel students get a 15% Rowan University tuition discount. And at many scholarship opportunities. So you earn more and pay even less. Rowan College of Burlington County. Your path to success. They are the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen. But what does it take to strengthen our service members? What does it take to let them know that we stand behind them, wherever they are? What does it take to bridge the distance? 
and keep them connected to family, home, and country? And what does it take to prepare them for their future when their service to the nation is complete? What does it take to strengthen our service members so they can be the greatest force for good in the world? It takes a force. Be a force behind the forces. Share a message today at force.uso.org. Hello and welcome back to Mindset. We are here with um, owner, entrepreneur, photographer, Allison Gallagher, and we were just in the middle of talking about how she captures moments in time, how she really creates this love and captures love in photography and then is able to bring that love to her clients through beautiful pictures and frames all throughout her clients' homes. And so we have wonderful um, photography of Allison's photography. So I wanna just go to a few clips here of some of the photography that she's done. Oh, wow, look at this one. Tell us about this one, Allison. This, this is, is beautiful. Me, yes. This is reminding me of like the Ann Gettys back in the day. So this is um, newborns you wanna photo, well, everybody's different, okay? But newborns, you know, six days to 18 days, um, this is baby Mia. Uh, oh. So she came into the studio, and you know I'm very organic in my style. So mm -hmm. I, when I f and I'll f you know I have a lot of different things. Moms that mom and dads they don't have to bring anything. I have a ton of props and all kinds of headbands and wraps and colors and things. But I love you know the creams and the roses, yes. like the blushes for girls. Um, and How she, did you get them in the little? So I've done a lot of. You know, when I first became a mom, I could not wrap a baby the way I can wrap a baby now. Um, oh, wow. You know, training, training on how to wrap. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's very warm in the studio. It's about 85 degrees to keep baby very comfortable. Right. Um, and she slept very soundly. And, uh, you know, she's gorgeous, gorgeous skin. I like to keep my, my setups very simple because uh -huh. I, it's about it's about baby, yeah. you know. So, yeah. um, so that is... Beautiful. And how old was she at that moment? I don't remember. Just like days Ten old. days, maybe. Yeah. Ten wow. days. Ten, That's ten, amazing. Ten, so days. beautiful. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, a wedding. So Tell this us is about Chris this. and Kelsey. This is in central Jersey, okay. Princeton area. Oh, nice. Um, That's where I'm from. Yes. <laughs> and um, so this was in July. Um, and, you know, these two, oh, my gosh, they're so in love. And I just love, love, love learning about their story, how mm -hmm. they met, um, and then being able to document the uniqueness of their love. Mm -hmm. And they were so much fun to photograph. And this this was at the boat, the boater, boat house. I can't remember. Oh, the, the boat house at Mercer County that's Park. That's it. That's where it was. Yes, I know it well. So, it's so nice And so there. we went out at sunset. The party was happening. And I took them out at sunset and had a good 15 minutes with them. And this is one of my favorite favorite oh, images so of them oh, that know. day and I just love them so much wow yep. what a beautiful picture oh and look at this one a bundle of joy tell us about this so you know one of the things I love about this image is you can just hear her giggles yes. I mean she you know has two younger sisters and she I just captured her at them at her silly in her silliness and something that is you know that they're going to look back she'll get to look back on in 30 years and see herself and mom's behind her and um this was um at an apple orchard in my in hamilton new jersey i have i have great relationships with the farmers in my town and so i get to use a lot of their fields i shoot my outdoor stuff is at sunset um and so this is at sunset um this was last june um and you know, I just, and I got to, I asked this family if I could photograph them yeah. uh, because they're just, they're just so much fun, local family. So, wow, um, so I picked this one out just because it's one of my favorites of that frozen in time. Yeah. Joy. Totally. Just such joy, totally. you know, that we get from our kids. Yes. That we don't always get from our kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so, um, so I don't know, those are such a few examples of. 
why I love to do what I do. Yes, you know? indeed. And you'd captured that picture of the of that young girl with so much joy so well. You could just feel that excitement and joy exude from the photo. And then when I was talking to her was about it was about to be uh, school was about to end. Ah, uh, okay. And I mean, we can all that all resonates in all of right, us. Sure. The last few days before school ends, yes. and that just bliss. Yes. You yes, know, and yes. that's what I was talking to her about. She yeah. just lit up. Oh my gosh. You know, yeah, and I'll exactly. never forget that conversation that I had with her because I that picture, I'll never forget it because I know that joy. You yeah, know. Yeah, that's so good. So you take such amazing pictures. You capture the joy. You capture the precious moments. Um, you know, you capture the love from the weddings um, of everything that you do. I guess what what inspires you? I mean, you 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 you're able to capture so much of that stuff. So what what inspires you, and and you know what allows you to, I guess, keep going and and doing what you're doing just because of the love that you get from your pictures? Uh, okay, so relationships. I love to I love to document the love between love. Mm -hmm. I love, who doesn't want to be around love? Mm -hmm. Okay. That, all that love that I get to be around, it, it, I, it brings back into me. So mm -hmm. I get to feel that mm -hmm. more than I would, mm -hmm. more than I would. Um, I lost my dad in 2009. Oh, and so, so I understand loss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I love to document and pose my families in a way that I would still love to be posed with my own parents, yeah. my family. Yeah. You know, There's that kid inside that still loves to feel the safety of their parents or, you know, um, you just can never feel enough love. Yeah. And so I get to be around that. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's extremely re rewarding knowing that I'm doing that for parents or, you know, a bride and groom at the start of their life together. Um, you know, I've been married for 17 years. I'm mainly in love with my husband. I've been with him for 20 years. And so I love to be around new couples mm -hmm. to share with them my experience and, you know, um, you can get caught up in the wedding planning. And yeah. sometimes I like to really just talk to my couples about marriage. Yeah, yeah. Marriage. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, um, yeah. And, <clears throat> and I mean, you know, as far as being around new parents with their babies, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the miracle of life and the gift that I have to, you know, during a newborn session, mom and dad can hang out and, you know, I just photographed a newborn, dad was sleeping. Yeah. You know, they can <laughs> relax. And so I take sure. their baby and I make yeah. these beautiful photos and yeah. they can relax. They have their time. That's awesome. You know, so it's about the experience. Totally. I was just going to say that. It's about the, the experience, experience, you yeah. know, along with what I give them at the end, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And speaking of experience, you have an experience coming up too, right? In terms of uh, I do. a charity I event do. that you have excited. coming up. Tell us a little bit about this. So I do several mini sessions a year. I don't do many. Um, and a mini session is like, it's a small amount of time that we shoot and I'll do several in a row. And so, but this year I'm going to do, I'm doing it very differently. And this is how I'm going to do it going forward. My mini sessions, I'm going to involve and partner with a charity. Mm. I want to give back. Okay. So um, I've partnered with the Center for Family Services and they're based in Camden County, but they, they do serve many counties because there is a local women's shelter in Hamilton where I am. Okay. So it's, it's benefits women, battered women and children. Um, they have a lot of different things that they do. So I am partnering with them. So the mini session is going to be for moms and their children and I'm bringing businesses in. And so businesses are donating to the charity and then they're going to give something to each mom. Mm. Um, they're going to get from me a, um, a five by five metal print of them with their family and their donors. They're donating to the charity. Mm -hmm. um, it's going directly to the charity. And then we're going to do 15 minute sessions. Um, and it's uh, April 26th, Friday, April 26th, and Sunday, April 28th, uh, for a few hours each of those days. And um, there'll be a lot more information to come. Should I give my email? Yeah, absolutely. So how would people get in touch with you if they wanted to learn more about the charity? And then also you as a photographer, how would they get a chance to have their portraits done for their kids, for their families, for their wedding? Tell us how to get in touch with you. So you can email me at hello at allisonandstudios.com. 
uh, and but also call me. I want to talk to you on the phone. I want to get to know you from the beginning. Um, I I love to really get to know my clients on on a very personal human level. Um, so um, so you can call me 609-828-8331 again, or you can email me. But if you email me, I'm going to call you. So it's but it's hello at allisonandstudios.com. Information about the charity event. Uh, so that's Mama and me, and um, and you know, connect with me to document the love of, of your life and fill your walls with your family. I love that. And the experience that you create mm -hmm. for your clients as well. Mm -hmm. Not only is it the photography that you take and the love that you create for their families, but it's also the experience that you have for them too, which is amazing beautiful and brilliant thank you yeah thank you thank you thank you so much I'm for so being grateful here. are you kidding are yeah. you kidding I'm so grateful I'm grateful to have you here <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your passion your joy and you know just your talent with all of us you know I think that's so We're always awesome evolving. I'm always evolving I'm always you know as an entrepreneur you try to get better every yeah. day I try to be a better version of me yes yes as we all are and you're certainly inspiring us to find our why and to, mm. you know, keep going through and not be afraid to be vulnerable and make mistakes and get over That's those right. challenges in order to, you know, have your passion come through as well. So thank you so much thank for you. being so here. Grateful. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, hope you enjoyed the show today and we look forward to seeing you again here next week on Mondays at two o'clock. See you soon.